Hi everyone, my name is Meg and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my 18 week pregnancy update. So I am 18 weeks along. I missed I think at least my last update or my last two updates because we've been crazy busy. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have a 10-month-old daughter and we are pregnant with our second. We live on a little homestead in Montana and I do all kinds of mommy and lifestyle videos, pregnancy updates, all sorts of stuff. My daughter Sophia is crawling around over here. Are you, are you gonna grab my tripod? This is my daughter. Sophia, look. Look. Hi. <laughs> so let's just get right into this update. I like using the Baby Center Pregnancy app to see like week by week what's changing and right now the baby is about the size of a bell pepper. Feels a lot bigger but that's what the Baby Center app says. I think I weighed myself last week and I was about 163 pounds and I normally weigh 140 when I'm not pregnant so I've gained about 23 pounds. As I've said in some of my other updates with her I gained 60 pounds. I was 200 pounds at the end of my pregnancy and I lost it all right away and she was perfectly healthy We never had any issues so I know I'm gonna gain a lot of weight and I'm really not worrying about it. The only reason I weigh myself is because I go to my midwife appointments and she wants to know, she wants to know what I weigh so that's the only reason that I weigh myself. I have now reached the point of pregnancy that is so exciting because I can feel the baby moving all the time. I start being able to feel the baby move at around 14 weeks, maybe 13, but then now I feel it all the time and it's strong enough that Luke could feel it from the outside, which is amazing. It seems like with Sophia's pregnancy, it took a lot longer before Luke could feel it. And it's really interesting. With Sophia, she always kicked me on my right side up near my ribs. She was always in the same position. So now when I, I feel for baby kicks, I always feel in that one spot and I never expect it to be anywhere else. And then when it is somewhere else, I'm like, wow, that is a totally new feeling. That's strange. My stomach definitely feels huge. I still feel like there's twins in there and we'll find out when I go for my midwife appointment in a couple weeks. We're gonna find out the gender when I'm 20 weeks and we'll also find out if it's twins, which will be nice to know. So yeah, that's my essential oil to keep in. One super exciting update is that my nausea is gone. Unless I... <laughs> Sophia, you're so noisy. You're so noisy. Unless I really overdo it and work way too hard and don't give my body enough rest and enough food, then my nausea is completely gone. If I overdo it, it comes back the next day and it lasts for about a day and then goes away again. So that's been really nice to not have nausea constantly. I'm still tired but not quite as bad and part of that is from my hyperthyroid which will get lower near the end of pregnancy and then I'll start have to having to take supplements to bring it back up. I have also started having to pee all the time and it's just going to continue to get worse. I, As of now I have to get up to go to the bathroom at night at least once or twice which is a little bit disappointing because she's just now starting to sleep through the night so I'm I finally have the opportunity to get uninterrupted sleep, but now I have to go pee all the time. <laughs> so it's going to be a long time before I get to sleep like I used to. I was telling Luke yesterday that I really wish that we could just, <laughs> that I could just put a catheter in and then I wouldn't have to worry about going to the bathroom all the time, but I would never do that. <laughs> I have been nesting like crazy and it's actually really nice because even though I'm tired, I feel super motivated to get stuff done and keep the house clean and it's canning season and I have been canning a ton of stuff. I have canned peaches and nectarines and pears and grapes and applesauce and green beans and I am going to be canning some squash soon and just all sorts of stuff. I canned a whole bunch of stuff before she was born and we loved, loved having it. I love having applesauce and green beans for her to eat and for when the next baby is going to be starting solids. So it's going to come in super handy. And I've also started working on freezer meals for using after the baby's born. Because I know for sure I'm not going to feel be feeling like making dinner when the baby's just first here. Are you 
busy, so so busy. Oh my goodness. So mostly just exciting updates this time because I've, I've started feeling the baby and my nausea is all gone. So I'm super excited and starting to just really feel well enough to enjoy this pregnancy. The first trimester is always really difficult. And with hers, as soon as I hit the second trimester, I started feeling amazing. And this one took a little bit longer, but I'm super grateful that I'm not gonna be sick throughout my whole pregnancy because I know some women have just really, really hard pregnancies. My mom was sick throughout her whole pregnancies and that would just be really hard to deal with. So especially with her being so young and so busy, and um, it's nice to not be feeling sick all the time. So now I'm gonna go show you guys. Nah, 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 I'm gonna show you guys the bump. So here's the bump. It's definitely getting bigger. I'm loving that you can actually tell that I'm pregnant and I haven't just had a really big dinner. So I have some uh, maternity leggings on underneath my maxi skirt. My belly button is starting to turn back into an Audi. I remember how far it stuck out with Sophia's pregnancy. It was pretty funny. I'm always very excited to start getting a really big bump. I love being huge. It's not always comfortable, but it's just really nice to feel the baby and feel how big they are and have people tell that you're pregnant. So I think that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this update and you weren't too distracted by this little munchkin. If you enjoy seeing content like this and you want to support us, I have a Patreon account that I will link below. And if you want to see kind of more of our day-to-day -day life, I post almost daily, even sometimes several times a day on Instagram, just our daily lives and what we do and things that I'm making and working on. So I will also link that below if you're interested. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!